Yo, what's up guys? This is Jeremy and this is my top five of my most complimented niche fragrances ever. And we're gonna start off with two honorable mentions. First honorable mention is called Hugh Parsons Traditional. Just the right thing for a more mature man, nice and fresh, with a hint of sweetness, good performance, kind of a soapy smell. You will get compliments for this, definitely. And my second honorable mention is called Bond Number no. 9's Bleecker Street. My most favorite Bond Number no. 9 fragrance. This is green, sexy, grassy, muskiness love that stuff absolutely love that stuff has very solid performance for a green fresh spring fragrance it just didn't get me as many compliments as the other ones all right so let's start off with my number five spot the number five spot is a fragrance you know it from my channel this has not only a designer price this also smells like a designer fragrance and that's why, of course, it also gets you designer-wise compliments. And this is called Gearness by Gear. This thing, which has the worst sprayer in the world, <laughs> smells like Chanel Allure Homme Sport. Just more dense, more thick, more flowery and more bright. Great for spring, great for summer, can't go wrong with this very, very safe compliment getter, Gearness by Gear. Number four spot is a fragrance that gets me pretty, pretty solid compliments when I wear a suit. This is a suit only fragrance and to me a fall only fragrance, all right? This is called Oud Wood by Tom Ford one of the superstars from Tom Ford's private blend. One of my most favorite oud fragrances, without a doubt. If you have the right attitude with a suit, this works very, very well. Has okay performance, nowhere near tobacco vanille performance, but tobacco vanille also gets me compliments, but also gets me very bad reactions, so. This one made it, Tobacco Vani did not made it. Oud Wood, number four spot, one of the best Oud fragrances on the market. Number three spot. This thing is by far, by far, the strongest fragrance in this list. Parfums de Mali Pegasus. This stuff is very heavy. Some people mistake it with a similar vibe of Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal. I don't see that at all. Hey, you know what? I actually wore this thing in the high summer heat in the evening. And you know how many compliments I got? Very, very many. This works very well in the evening. Doesn't even matter where you are. You can be in Ibiza at a cocktail bar. You can be casual. This thing works very well everywhere, any season in the evening. All right, guys, and we are already at the number two spot. Whoa. And I gotta tell you guys, number two and number one, if we do like a percentage of compliments from these fragrances, we got like honorable mentions, a little bit. We got number five spot. Number four spot, uh, number three spot has a little bit more. And then we got number two spot and number one spot. Not kidding you. I don't work for any fragrance company. I have never received one cent for saying a fragrance smells amazing. So this is pure own experience of mine on why this thing is on the number two spot on my most complimented niche list. And many of you might guess which one that is? It is Amouage Reflection Man. And you know what this is? Can you see that? Can you see that? This is the vintage version, all right? I also own the new formulation, which is magnetic, but which doesn't last so long as this one. Don't get me wrong, the new version also lasts you six to eight hours, somewhat like that. But this one, 10 hours and more. 
This thing gets me brutal amount of compliments and I feel very confident and very clean and so much better as all the people around me. I'm not kidding you. I spray this, I'm like, all right guys, what's going on here? What's going on here? Let's go, okay? Bam, give it to me. I walk around like, boom. I have the cloud of awesomeness around me when I wear Reflection Man. Clean, powdery awesomeness with a slight distance to the people that want to talk with me. Kind of arrogant. This thing smells kinda all right. I'm better than you. It's just the case. Highly, highly deserved number two spot, Amouage Reflection Man. Number one spot, I think I can go uh, read a newspaper or go on the toilet or drink champagne or uh, drink a glass of water or drink a cup of tea and just let you guys do it because all of you know what's coming up right now, right? I could do a dance tutorial right now. It would be more spontaneous, more surprising than showing you the number one spot right now. Hey dude, you don't know what's in the number one spot right now? Creed Aventus. <sighs> Should I spray it in my face, guys? Mmm. Smells very pineapple-y. Creed Aventus. I got a 120 ml bottle coming up. This is slowly running out. Worldwide success for a good reason. This is it, guys, if you want compliments from a niche fragrance, all right? So, that was my video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this top five list. Keep yourself updated with my videos. I release these lists every year to show you, all right? It's still Aventus and Dior Sauvage is still the most complimented. I suggest you still to wear this thing for the high summer heat because it will get you the most compliments, all right? But things change. So for now, thank you very much for watching. See you next time with another video. Peace.